Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. If this is your very first time here, the winter chill is here and it is cuddle, cozy season. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the only five to six coziest winter fragrances that you need. So if you're a gourmand girly and or you like warm and spicy and just smoky fragrances, then you definitely wanna keep on watching. This video is for sure most definitely for you. So beginning with this first fragrance, which is considered to some to be a cold favorite, this fragrance to me embodies the essence of the winter slash cozy fragrance. It is warm, it is woody, it is, to me, in my opinion, smoky. And that fragrance is probably one that you will find in most collections and most videos out here on the internet. That is Maison Margiela by The Fireplace. Now this fragrance is not one that you would wanna wear during the daytime. If you wanna be that bold, then you certainly can. However, to me, this is an evening fragrance. It evokes feelings of warmth and coziness and just ultimately, as the name describes, sitting by the fireplace. Something that I probably never really get to experience, but when I do smell it, when I do wear it, that is, what I'm able to envision. That is what I'm able to experience. That's the only way I'd probably be able to experience sitting by a fireplace because I live in Florida. Now, I did forget to mention that I did not place this list in any particular order. However, this would probably be on the top of my list and it does not get the respect or the notoriety that it deserves. This is a all of the fragrances, of course, are gonna be warm, but this is a warm and spicy, gender neutral fragrance. Um, and that fragrance is Commodity Gold Expressive. And this is genderless, gender neutral scent and contains keynotes of amber, sandalwood, and my favorite note of them all, vanilla. It is rich, it is decadent, the bottle is beautiful. Um, it is probably at this moment one of my most complimented fragrances. You can wear this during the day or the night, preferably during the evening. To me, this is an evening, even a like date night scent. Now, I do often wear this in a combo with another fragrance, but whether I'm wearing it with that fragrance or by itself, I am guaranteed to get stopped and just asked, like, what are you wearing? or get some type of compliment. This is a compliment getter conversation starter right here. And it's for certain one that, when it comes to like the commodity fragrances, I know a lot of people talk about the commodity milk, but this right here, this commodity gold, easily to me, much better than its cousin, its sister, whatever you wanna like reference commodity milk as. To me, I think it's definitely one that you wanna include in your collection for the winter months. So this next favorite is no stranger. I think that it can easily be considered also a cult favorite. The packaging is absolutely beautiful and I think initially that is what draws a lot of people's attention. Then they smell it and then realize that it's just as good as the bottle. That fragrance is the Killian Angel Share. No, I do not have the full size bottle. I have the travel size, but I'm making it a priority to obtain the full size bottle. Now this right here is definitely warm and spicy. In my personal opinion, can be worn by either a woman or a man. It is gender neutral, has keynotes of, and I'm looking at my notes, it has keynotes of cognac, tonka bean, and oak wood. And so of course, naturally it gives that woody, smoky scent. It easily lasts four hours and like that after scent that it provides is beautiful. Now it does also have notes of sandalwood, praline, and vanilla, which makes that warm, sweet, delicious finish. This is one that I wear with this. I do wear this as a combo. Um, and whenever I do wear the two, it, I, I get all the compliments. Now, if you wanna wear it by itself, you most certainly can. It is a beautiful fragrance. One that I think you most definitely should have in your collection. True essence of a winter scent. It is supposed to give cognac 
That is why it is in a cognac bottle. And I'm not a cognac girl. I've never had cognac. I'm, I may have had some cognac. I don't know. For what I would imagine cognac would smell like, definitely gives that feel. I love, love, love the packaging of this bottle. And I absolutely love this scent. This is definitely one that I want to upgrade and purchase like the full size bottle after putting a dent in the travel size. Like one that you want to make sure that you have for the winter cozy months. Now this next fragrance is one that I get a lot of compliments on as well. Um, it is probably hands down one of my most reached for fragrances and that's because it contains all of the vanilla and that fragrance is Burberry Goddess. Of course not only is the packaging beautiful but it smells sweet, decadent and warm. Now it isn't as warm, smoky, and woody, not even woody as some of the other fragrances, but this is considered a gourmand. In fact, it is jam packed with vanilla. It includes three different types of vanilla, um, and that is vanilla infusion, caviar, and vanilla absolute. This fragrance to me gives all of that soft light, that femininity. So if you are on a feminine journey, then this fragrance is most certainly for you. Because it's not loud, it gives all of that soft girl, soft life, femininity journey to me. Um, it's not a loud fragrance that one is gonna immediately smell when you walk into the room. It is, it is one that someone is gonna get like a nice whiff of through a warm embrace. And if you are outside and that breeze hits, it's just such a beautiful, pleasant, feminine smell. So in the true essence, every word, a gourmand, just not as powerful and smoky and woody. This next fragrance is one that's kind of new to my collection and I really don't know why I am just getting into this fragrance because it is one that I've always wanted to try. And that is the Black Opium. However, this isn't the Black Opium original. This is the Black Opium, I've heard someone refer to as the Black Opium Intense. But it's the Black Opium Le Parfum. So I don't know where they got Intense from. I don't know, but it's in this black bottle and the writing is pink. And so this is considered to be warm and spicy. I don't get a whole lot of the spice. Um, a warm and sweet gourmand, and it opens up with notes of a white floral bouquet, vanilla quartet, and the coffee bean. So you most certainly get the coffee bean and the vanilla with this one. Um, and it is a girl's, girly girl's gourmand fragrance. I think this is one that you can really wear during the day or the evening, like any time of the day. I think you can wear this definitely a compliment to get her. I've had plenty of people in a short time of me actually wearing this to stop me and just ultimately compliment me on my fragrance and ask me what I'm wearing. Like I mostly wear this to work and I don't know, I don't really want people to be cozy with me like that at work. But if, if I'm out working and it's a cold day, I wanna feel cozy in my desk. Okay, and so this next fragrance is one that I've had for a short time. However, I've had it on my I need it list for a very long time. And this fragrance is by Parfum de Marly. This is called the the Altair. Altair, Altair. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Now this is very much so an interesting fragrance to me. Um, it is considered to be a unisex genderless fragrance, but I don't get unisex um, in this. It doesn't give me a fragrance that a man could wear. So I'm gonna need them to like repackage this and make this specifically for women. Um, the notes contain um, orange blossom, bergamot, cinnamon, and at the heart of this is vanilla. Um, it is a bourbon vanilla, LMI, um, and at the base you have a, a note that I cannot pronounce, good, good, guaca wood? Ambrox, praline, and musk. And so because of the musk, it does give it a bit of a like powdery fragrance. I'm not typically one that goes for fragrances that contain musk, but I think because of the vanilla, the cinnamon, the warmth that you get from those notes is what dr has drawn me to this fragrance. Um, I don't know, and it's, it's something about the musk that's truly showing 
my age. That I, I don't know. But that is all that I have for this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help for it to become a little bit discoverable out here in these YouTube streets. And as I always like to say, if we vibe, don't forget to hit that button, subscribe, join the tribe, join the community, and make sure that you never miss a beat. And until the next video, peace.